Okay, on this first photograph coming in from Ellie near Westbury in Wiltshire, UK, she sent in a large long email stating that the pink sky is a rarity. You don't often see it every single day like we're doing now, just on the horizon there. You can clearly see, can't you, down below that pink reflection cutting through. As above, you can see that white array from the reflector. Now, Again, we've got to respect everybody, every single one of us in our community, showing the photographs that have been sent in. So Ellie, thank you for this fantastic attachment. Here we have two fine, fantastic photographs that have just recently come in from Shelley from the USA. Now, look at the formations on the screen. Let me just um, try and get this sorted and zoom in for you. Zooming in is important as well for the community. Now. Look at this strange line here. Can you see this formation through these harp cloud formations? I mean, look at this. Totally unnatural to our skies. If we move to the other side as well, we've got this strange curve, haven't we? We see this again on Debrator 101's images that you saw in the last video. Look again to where we see the sun, okay? To the left side, we're seeing a shadow a deep dark shadow a red haze here as well something is agitating affecting our weather patterns and affecting these chem formations can you see how it spreads across and causes this strange circle of haze a dark shadow to the left side can you clearly see again if i try and zoom in one more time for you let me try and get it right what we're seeing here is we do see the area of the sun going down but it seems to be cut off to this side we've got a dark shadow here something is out there now again what i was saying earlier on it's affecting our weather sky system causing big gaps now we do see these strange formations don't we on other photographs again they're not natural, are they? Something is going on in our skies. So thank you for this fantastic capture showing the truth on this photograph. Here we have Shelley's next photograph. Now, again, look at the sky. It is very strange. I'd like to let you know as well that these two attachments came in on the 13th of February, 2018. So a few days back, but still it is very, very interesting to see these photographs. On the zoom in as well, let me just get this uh, sorted for you. Just here as well, there is a strange marking on these chems. There's a few strange markings. Can you see these shadows again just above? Here we have that reflector, the strange fluorescent light source that's there. And when you look clearly at the photograph, you're getting a pink colour above. All of this photograph that you see on the screen is very unnatural just chemicals being spread across our atmosphere all they're doing again is hiding the truth look at this area just very very strange every single day we're starting to see these formations aren't we so again thank you Shelley for these two excellent attachments and God bless you we have two attachments just come in an hour ago from unbeatable this kind subscriber again just working very hard Noticing again this white light source, but above on the screen you can see those strange cloud formations, which indeed are chemicals. This pink colour is still reflecting through those formations. Whilst looking at this photograph, I've noticed as well, just to the left side, everything on the screen is chemtrails. But what you can see is, just to the left side, we're seeing that light source of the reflector. But down to the right side, we've got that pink haze coming through. From the horizon this pink color again is coming from the system so let's move to other attachments and thank you again for these fantastic photos to show our community here we have two more attachments coming in from Tom Tom again sends lots of photos in and in the future I will be playing and showing more images from Tom now can you see clearly on the screen Look at those chem lines, there's far too many of them. What they do is they start spraying like you can see here and then 
Down below, it becomes separated and a haze on the horizon. Everything that you see on the screen will indeed land on the ground and, of course, all of us will be breathing this chemical waste from the skies. All they're doing again is hiding the real truth. Here on this next photograph from Tom, as we investigate this and all the other images, showing again what they're doing, spraying these chemicals. Now, like I said before, these photographs that come in on these daily video archives are just recent photos. So what you're seeing is the views across the world to this very hour, to this very day. So thank you again for sending these attachments in. We've got other genuine attachments coming in from Barb Armada, this kind lady in our community, showing the truth, showing these different changes again. Let's go through the photographs. Now, to members of the community, it may look normal on the horizon, but indeed what you're seeing is chem lines in the skies. Everywhere across our world is seeing this. Many, many trails. Going to the next photo as well. Can you see these chemtrails more clearly, can't you? Just on the horizon. So there's a pink haze to the left side as well. Now, they are, and they think they're getting pretty good at this, spraying all the time fooling us, the general public. Let's move now to the next image. Now, again, what you're seeing is this dark sky, many trails, and these other cloud system formations. Look at the pink haze cutting through here as well. Something else is reflected through our skies. And it isn't stopping, is it? This changing all the time. Everything that you see on these photographs. Look at this chem line here in the center of the screen. We've got these other colors that's reflecting on these other strange formations. Okay, so again, it's important, isn't it, to keep looking and seeing these differences from right across the world. Strange chem formations. Let's move to the next image. Now, again, what Barb's done is she's used this to change it so we can see the differences. Look at this strange pink reflection again. You've got the white area from the reflector. Now, I just want to let you know as well that these photographs just come in moments ago, just seconds ago. Okay, so thank you, Bob, for these fantastic photos because again, all of us in our community deserve for the photographs to be seen. And please, please have a safe weekend. Here we have more attachments coming in from Matilde Sosa. Now, this kind lady is from Mexico and she is seeing these big differences. Can you see again these formations in our skies? Indeed, they are not natural. These are again chemicals being spread to cover up the truth. Can you now see the fleck of pink haze across those strange formations as well? This strange white mirror, this reflector that's been in this white light source that's out there above our atmosphere. It isn't the natural golden color that we've seen in the past. This kind lady in our community is getting a bit worried about this now because every time she looks out of the heavens, she can see a big difference. Look again, can you see clearly that we are still seeing that pink color through those strange chem formations just down here as well. Now. There's no trickery with this photograph because look on the pole here, it's just white. Even on the tree, there's no pink filter. Only out there, coming through above those chem systems, is this pink color that's coming right through towards our skies. So this is another genuine photograph and these are the photos that we need to all see. This is Sosa's last attachment and she states as well, she'd be sending more photographs in to show the truth because again this is what's happening every day look at that pink haze that pink color that's cutting through from the system that's out there now those strange formations are indeed a lot different from the skies from the past so god bless you too and take care and thank you for sending these fantastic genuine photos in
Here are some very fantastic true photos that have come in again from Tom from Western Virginia. Can you see clearly that there is indeed a pink reflection that's cutting through out there? We can see the area of this solar simulator, this white color. Now, looking closely at the photograph as well, we can see a fleck, can't we, of pink haze coming through from the right hand side. There's two colors showing on this photograph. Now Tom explains in an email, wake up people. And indeed he is right, because every day we are seeing this and we're still seeing this color that's cutting through. Tom also zooms in to the photograph and notices the two colors. Please be observers. Now looking closely at the, uh, the image, you can see the pink haze the reflection coming from this incoming planet system. Look above, we're seeing white chemtrails here as well. So there is indeed two colors showing. This and these, all these photographs that have been coming in for many, many months need to be seen. It's very, very important. I mean, the closer that we come to these photographs with these chemtrails and this unusual different color that we're seeing all the time it is becoming much more evident isn't it i will carry on because i am out to observe these photographs and to observe our horizons as well look at this white color of this chemtrail and then we've got these other separate colors reflecting through here is the next photograph look at these chemtrails we know what they are now and we know that this pink reflection is coming from this other system just outstanding images here is the last photograph that Tom brought in as an attachment chemtrails spread lines in the skies white reflections and a pink haze it says it all on these images We've got some brand new images that have been coming in as well from Joe from Canada. He states in his email to the right side there is a pink haze, this strange color that brightens up the sky and then moves away. Let me just uh, go through the next photo to show you this. Now, what is clear is what, again, this kind subscriber is stating is what we're seeing is two colors here and here. Can you see how it darkens off in between? something is lighting up our skies this incoming system this of heavenly bodies that are out there reflecting through our chem systems look at the area of the sun this golden reflection that's going down there's two objects on this photograph it's so clear you can again clearly see the way it glows out there in our inner solar system beaming through the cloud systems so again a fantastic capture thank you still taking photographs catching this pink reflection it's got a lot more stronger now hasn't it so indeed what i said before as well on different videos is that this haze will become stronger and stronger as we progress through the different videos we're going to see the big changes in our skies as well because sooner or later all our skies will be this color but again news media and the government will say it's something else they will bring out scientists to speak out about it but change it so to make out that everything is still normal here is the other up-to-date kill shot image it's really important to see this now indeed Joe as I described earlier on is from Canada so they're seeing this strange phenomenon this pink color reflecting through as I said earlier on as well to keep an eye out to the left side you're seeing the Sun the yellow reflection something else you can clearly see how it's reflecting a lot stronger through our skies now so indeed, thank you, Joe, for these fantastic attachments. And if you catch anything else over there in Canada, send them in and I will produce them onto other videos. And please, please take care. We have more attachments that's come in from Paul. 
Now, Paul is a strong member of our community. In the photographs, they are very, very interesting because as we go through, you can see again the sun, this disc in the sky. Look at the white reflection here. But as we uh, show you the next photographs, you can clearly see, can't you, that it's white. But can you see again this pink reflection? Just like you saw on the area of the sun down to the right side, you can see that pink reflection, that color beaming through. Let me just move to the next uh, photograph as well. Okay, let me just, uh, two seconds. Okay, what we're seeing is here as well, is this white disc. It's so important to remember this as well, because there's no pink reflection or anything pink on this disc that you see. But just as I just knit back to the next photograph, the disc is still white. We're seeing the white reflection from this disc. But again, just to the right side, something else behind the disc is reflecting through very strong. Different colors. Please observe this. Okay, now here's the other set of images that have been sent in by this kind person. What we're seeing again is so important. We're seeing again the white reflection from this area here. Now, if this was the sun, why then is it so dark and black, the skies? Something else is behind this that's causing, again, the two separate colours. Very, very strange, but it is. And let me please say this. It is real. These photographs are real. They've not been enhanced. There is two colours. And we've all seen this. We've all seen this in our eyes. But the thing is, though, the difference is that it's becoming a lot stronger than ever before. Just uh, go to this photograph as well. Please remember, when you look at this object, okay, you're seeing this colour. It's only going to beam off this colour. Something else behind is causing the other colours. Here we are again, we've got the dark sky. Now, if this was the sun, we would see a blue sky, but indeed, it is a reflector. It's so obvious. Now, these dark cloud systems are in front, should not be as black as this when the sun is out. Two colors and a dark shadow, dark cloud systems, dark skies in the background as well. So again, thank you for these fantastic attachments because zooming in and showing you these are indeed very, very important. The two colours, remember this. We've got this fluorescent light source that beams down to the ground that causes everything to dim. It's artificial. But to the right side, we've got the orange reflection from the system that's behind this reflector out there in our inner solar system. So what we're getting is artificial sunlight above our atmosphere, beaming down. But in the situation is that if that wasn't there, we would now see the truth. Everybody would look up to the heavens and see a difference. Here we have two amazing photographs that have come in from the Flying Turtle, 1968. Now, this chap as well is from Japan, the Far East, working very, very hard, showing the truth. Look at these strange formations in the skies. Like just that you saw on the other attachments, we're seeing that black shadow, black cloud systems, and a red haze. These photographs just come in very recently as well. Just an absolute capture, showing you that what they're doing in the skies. Look at the lines from these trails. The harp system, again, over there in Japan is on high power. Now, I'm gonna show you the next image from the flying turtle. This brother in our community is fantastic showing the truth. Well, there you go. Look at this fa fantastic photo. This image again is genuine. It says it all, doesn't it? We've got a dark sky. Now, those strange dark chem formations are in front of the area of this reflector. Now, what amazed me as well is you're seeing now this orange reflection to the outer area of the reflector. It's beaming through much stronger than ever. So over there in Japan, they're seeing this big truth, this big difference in the skies. You can clearly see as well in the photo that this 
orange haze, this pink colour, cutting through behind the reflector, is becoming much stronger. Look at the rise of the sun. Now, if it was our natural sun, down on the ground and around the area of this photograph, it would be a lot brighter, wouldn't it? But obviously, on the image, over there in Japan, they're seeing a strange artificial sunrise and the dimming of the land. 